Hello everybody. So I have a declaration to make. I am starting my mom's club just for moms that are overwhelmed called a hot purpose mess the overwhelmed moms club. I don't know if you can tell but I just got done crying. <clears throat> I'm dealing with mom guilt. I'm dealing with feeling like I wish I have more support sometimes on those days um, where, you know, I'm doing things that are important and, um, you know, just kind of how everybody else is able to prioritize and just focus on one thing at a time. And as a mom, you know, when I've been in the house full time, when I've been working full time, you know, my eye has always been on Nayara and she's always been the priority. And I've always balanced it with her running literally. And right now on my way to an event, I have blood stains on my dress from her that I just wiped up because she fell behind me and scraped her knees really bad. And there was blood everywhere. In the middle too late. And this was in between me dropping her off and going to my event running to my event rather I should say and her hanging on to my dress and I used to when she was little like carry her and like this time I just wanted her to just kind of hold her own you know um it's mommy's day you know we've got to go um but of course you know mothering never ends but neither does the pressure and the feelings of you know not getting it right not doing enough so I just want a mom to know that you're not alone there are so many times doing my business that I have said it's you just you you literally can't do anything but mother right now that's all you can do because to do anything else is to be all over the place and to be a mother requires so much but I am toughing it out and I am ignoring the voices that are telling me that I am not you know supported enough that I can't get it right I am paying attention to where I do have support asking for where I need it more and I am also starting this club so that we don't wait on what we need and who we need to be around to know that we're not alone to know that we're supported to know that we are good enough, that we're doing awesome, and to know to not give up, to just keep going on our visions, our desires, and our dreams, and just adjust and allow things to move with us. Ow, I'm, gosh, I can't see it right now, but my dad sent me a text and it said, you're okay, life can wait on the you. Right too late to keep right. Um, and that was my text, you know, that was a response to my text to him that said, sorry dad, I'm running a bit behind. Um, you know, because I was picking up my daughter and my dog, and um, he was waiting on me to get there. And um, so I want to pass that forward and pay that forward to somebody else. You're all right. You know, life can follow behind you in alignment with you wherever you are. It's going to have to. And we're going to have to um, stand tall and declare wherever we are that we may need to pivot, we may need to adjust. But we're not giving up, you know. Maybe we need to push something back. Maybe we need to pause something. Maybe we need to stop something. But that doesn't mean that we give up everything that we ha want to do or have planned or have envisioned, you In know. We may just lines. have to pace ourselves. We may have to spread some things out. Um, and we certainly are not bad mothers. And it's not my fault. You know, one of the things that I will have Nayar repeat after me is... It's not my fault. It's not your fault, you know. It's okay, you know. Um, mommy's not mad at you. And now I have to tell myself, it's not my fault that she hurt herself. And your daughter's not mad at you. And you're okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. So we're gonna be okay. And I like to have these bi-weekly check-ins, one another virtually, just to admit that it's not easy, that it can be overwhelming, and that we have a space to vent and to just empower each other and give one another juice for the journey. So, this is C. Marie, 
letting you all know that I'm a hot purpose mess and I'm still walking and shining <laughs> and standing tall through it and um, I hope you all will join me if you need this message if you need some space especially if we, especially if you have younger children um, to know that you are not the only one that gets overwhelmed sometimes and um, I'd like you to join my mom club and for us to just talk you know every other Saturday morning and just have that space for one another this has really been on my mind and my heart and I'm gonna